New York Giants first round selection. Quarterback Phil Sims, Moorhead State. New York Giants first round selection. Lawrence Taylor, linebacker, North Carolina. The New York Giants first round selection. Linebacker Carl Banks of Michigan State. The San Diego Chargers and the New York Giants have exchanged their draft picks. Eli Manning and Phillip Rivers. With the second pick in the 2018 NFL Draft, the New York Giants select Saquon Barkley. Running back Penn State. At the start of the... NFL draft for the league there. Um, first on the block, the Jets, who traded up and took got the number one pick there. Uh, I'm sure they're probably going to take uh, a pass rusher. Got the Packers, Jags, Browns, Cardinals, Panthers, Baltimore. Let's see. Chase Young, no surprise there. The... I mean, he, he's probably going to be a number one pick in the actual draft there. 76 overall, beast. Another DN goes off the board. Everyone knows how important edge rushers, pass rushers are in this game. AJ Espinenza, Espinisa, sorry, out of Iowa with the second pick there. Jaguars on the clock. I mean, I think we're going to see a crazy run of, oh, Tua. Tua goes. Totally forgot about him, of course. Jags get the quarterback that they need. And then we have the Browns on the clock. Well, I believe there's another team that traded up. These guys have been wheeling and dealing all day, trying to get picks, trading up into the round. I think this is going to be a really good draft. And in case you guys didn't know, the draft is fully customized, meaning there's nothing. This is not one of those downloaded drafts. This is actually done our commissioner goes through and, and, and does the full draft to get players as accurate as possible but also their devs are determined by a very complex formula that um, factors in their school factors in their draft position what players that they are sitting behind us on the team like a mentorship you have a top receiver and then you draft uh, on their other team already you draft the receiver um, that type of mentorship is going to help them get a better dev it's, a, it's, it's about 10 different categories, I believe, um, with the school that they come from, the prestige of the school, what type of uh, awards that they won in school, if they won, you know, Blitnikoff Award or the Heisman or whatever. All that factors in to determine is the formula he has to uh, determine uh, the pack. So Andrew Thomas, left tackle, 76 overall, goes to the Browns. No, no surprise there. They have been uh, a team that has uh, complained about the offensive line all year round, and that's one of the weak points of the team. So he's trying to fix that with the left tackle. Unfortunately, I can't show you guys. Like I guess in you know in the chat, they'll post people that you can see, um, you know, their full stats and all that. But you guys can't see it. But we'll we we'll just go after. I'm not, I'm not gonna sit here and go through the the whole draft. Just want to get the first couple of picks. I'm all the way down the bottom round at 24, and you know I already went over previously that when I'm kind of targeting uh, linebacker and. Uh, or a safety O-line. So I got a bunch of my board, mostly going for defense, but we'll, I'll catch you guys at, towards my pick, and we'll pick it up from there. Picking back up in the draft uh, kind of sucks. The guy I was hoping for just got taken. Um, the safety I was hoping for got taken right before me. So um, I don't know. I'm, I'm really uh, going to go best available is the right in here. Uh, has good stats across the board, or I can go for more of a position need, which would be center. The center here, Ruiz, is available. Um, he's strong, got good pass block. Or I can wait and get someone later in the draft here. Uh, there's no, I, I really want that free safety. He's still available, but that'll be a super reach to get him uh, now because he's just too far down. So I really need um, sent the center. I, I need that pick, but I feel like it's just too tough to pass up. I mean, this guy has 
stats just all, all off the charts here. I mean, it's it's really tough for me to pass up here. Let's see who's available. Yeah, it's across the board. I mean, first round talent. Uh, good. You know, we're going to a four three, but we'll have an extra lineman. Maybe this will mean that I, I will actually move LC back to linebacker. But um, you know, gives us enough pass rusher. But we're definitely going to be hurting. On the offensive line, might have to make a uh, a, ch a change in or, or some kind of trade to get that lineman that we need. So, reached a little bit there, but um, he's got good speed, good acceleration, get his finesse move up. Already got good block shedding, injury stamina. I mean, he's 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 solid. He's solid, but this this really means that we're gonna go ahead and. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna make that move, and uh, probably have to move him back to linebacker. He's gonna start at end for us there in the in the in the four three. So not what we were looking for, um, but I just you know with that type of ability, I did not want to pass up on you know getting the DN, a uh, young DN with that kind of speed and explosiveness. Uh, good strength, already got good block shape. He's really going to develop nicely for us. So, um, you know, not what we wanted. We really wanted to get that linebacker. So, I mean, you're really going to have to rely on either making a move to trade for someone and on the later rounds grabbing someone. But O-line is going to be, uh, that center is going to be tough. We have to get that center position full. So, for the, with a second round pick, we're going to have to get an offensive lineman. So, we'll, we'll see. I'll check in uh, when my next pick comes up. All right, so my second pick is coming up, and uh, I'm gonna take a lineman, and I don't know, it's gonna be kind of a crapshoot. Not really sure who to take here, because there's not much left um, to go by. So I, it's kind of like a crapshoot. I got a whole bunch of guys scouted. They're all kind of trash. I mean, to be honest, like none of them are really good. So I don't even know. To take here. This guy is really fast lineman with uh he's got good pass block and good run box finesse. And I mean 40 yard, he's he's fast. I mean you want to pull around, you know, something he's good. Uh this guy here, Nick Harris is rated as good three, good uh run block power, pass block, impact block. Um he's rated on he's undrafted though. Damian Lewis Ready undrafted. Got good broad jump. Bench press, so he's going to be strong. Got B, run block power. B minus run block, pass block power. Oh, man. I really don't even know. One of these guys. None of these guys look like winners at all, man. But I need a lineman. Um, there's just no good lineman left that I can see. That's really tough. I, I'm just going to go with the guy who was on our board. Um, he's really fast, and he's, uh, I don't know, he's got a good 37 rep bench press, he's got the B plus run block, mass pass block, and impact block, or Damian Lewis, or as a mid-fifth rounder, yeah, gonna, gonna go with Damian Lewis, just because he's strong, uh, and Raid is a higher talent, so let's see what we get with that. Oh man, we got crushed. 67 overall, not good. He's strong. He's strong, but his uh run block is decent, pass block is not good. Um so he he's got some strength. That's about it. <laughs> good injury. <laughs> good stamina, so he's going to be a major work in progress. They really get him up to speed. Um Wow. And I'll say start it off, try to get that pass block up, and then just start to 70 at least and just start working on the run block. Uh, as far as center, I mean, I think I'm probably going to move him to center. So he's not pulling and all that stuff like that. Uh, but, yeah, this is this is going to be our center uh, of the future. Got good strength, uh, as a, you know, good starting point with that. But definitely going to probably have to send him to training camp. To improve a lot of these uh, other skills, especially in the in, in the pass block. Wow. 
Well, that that's our lineman of the future. Not a great start, but I think we got a good base. Good strength, good size. The rest we can work on, man. The rest we can work on. Um, and seeing our other rookie there. Uh, so you guys can check it out. Who else I drafted? I don't even know how to pronounce his name. I'm going to have to go look it up and, and work on it. Yatur Gross Matos. Yatur, uh, speed rusher from Penn State. I think he was one of the best rated uh, guys behind Chase Young. So good speed, good acceler great acceleration. For a rookie, 7 8 block check coming in, that's really good. And I gotta, I gotta, you know, when he, when he, when the graph is over, I can take a look at some of the other stats. What I'll probably do, have him at right end, and then I will probably move um, LC to back to outside linebacker, and just have both of those guys coming, coming off the edge, man. Just uh, getting to the quarterback. We got some good speed in the front. I think this is a good pick for the four three. Not what I wanted. Still later on, I'm looking to get. There's, there's a lot of linebackers left. Um, athletic linebackers that I'm going to be looking to. I don't have a pick all the way to the fifth round, so I'm going to be looking to pick somebody up like Cam Brown or um, even one of the guys, uh, Pew or somebody like that. And then um, if not, you know, uh, I mean, there's a bunch of guys. Davion Taylor, all these guys are kind of athletic guys. This is the kind of guys that I want to draft to be my middle linebacker. Worst case scenario, all that falls through gonna go to Tanner Muse and then convert him to middle linebacker because any you, we can do anything over uh, 225 a safety can be vert to, to linebacker so that'll be that'll be the conversion there um, but that that's the worst case scenario so fifth round is a lot of picks to go before it gets back around to us so uh, we'll uh, I'll catch you guys and I'll pick up right from there when it comes closer to our pick all right, so it's back all the way to the fifth round, and we, oh man, so many of our guys got taken. Like, it's just crazy, man. Like, it's unbelievable. Like, we lost. The guys that I thought would definitely fall to the fifth got taken early. People just draft the speed, like, like crazy. So it's just, um, you know, we just got to uh, just take. When, when, when you can take a guy, you got to take a guy, you know. Uh, this last left on our board here. Cal Pugh will probably take him there. Got a good 40-yard dash, a good three-cone. Um, vertical jump is kind of crappy, but we need a linebacker badly. So we kind of have no choice. Uh, Antavius Jackson popped up at the end there. Good 40 time, not as good as three-cone, so... Uh, he was the last guy we had on our board as linebacker, so pretty much that's the guy we have to take. Uh, we're probably going to be, <laughs> if you got a linebacker who's catching as his third highest trait, he's going to be pretty terrible, but it is what it is. Hopefully we can build him up, and it'll be halfway decent, so. Yeah, 57 overall. Not shocked at all. We knew he would just be fast, and everything else would be pretty garbage. Um... This is what we expected, that jump. Oh, that's another tough one. So, disappointing. Um, not what we were looking forward to. Uh, looks like we'll have to be probably draft linebacker again late in the draft. We'll have to trade someone. We've got uh, you know, so many, a good amount of pass rushers now uh, on the squad. So, we're probably going to, you know, it's, it's possible. We can even move... Um, you know, Hill or Lawrence or one of the guys and, and uh, get that linebacker. Or or really what, what might happen is just, just ride out with Buchanan. Ride out with Buchanan for the year. You know, he's he's not terrible. You know, he's got good speed. Um, and just use him for the year. Or, uh, or really just, uh, you know, try to get another um, safety. Or just have Jenkins and Love kind of man the safeties and utilize Peppers more in the box and that sub linebacker. Uh, it's a little different things we could do. You know, it's got a scheme. You know, one thing I always try to do the best is, is really try to get the most of my team. And whatever scheme I come up with is going to be, uh, you know, something that works with what I have. That's what it is. You know, we're, we're hoping to get that, that just stellar 
you know, athletic middle linebacker that we can rely on and build upon that, you know, that cornerstone linebacker how last year we had the Ravens series with C.J. Mosley. Um, we didn't get it. We didn't get it. Um, you know, I, I really tried to be smart and, and say, hey, you know, we need a lineman, and I went lineman when I really should have went after that. I should have reached went, to that, went after that athletic linebacker that we needed. But, you know, the decisions that you make, ch chances that you take, and, and, and sometimes they pay off, sometimes they don't. So this time they, they really didn't, but uh, it's all right. You know, we're going to make do what we, you know, we can do here, and then uh, we'll, we'll see. So catch you guys at the end of the draft. Uh, we'll do the recap. And that way I'll get my players kind of all situated and in place, and then uh, we can see how, how the squad is looking and uh, start to get right into preseason. Hey, Giants fans. Jabril Peppers here. Want to be the first to see Giants videos? Subscribe now.